Hello everyone, more so hi to the ladies. My name is Ntabi. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I start off by sectioning my hair for the cornrows. I always go in with my wax to get clean lines. So for this section, I'm going to start off with the two middle lines and then do the curved lines on the sides. I'm not sure if you are aware, however, my hair has wax and gel in it. This is from a hairstyle I attempted prior to this one, a failed hairstyle. So don't mind that. Um, just make sure that your hair is clean and moisturized prior to creating a hairstyle, especially if you're going to have it for a prolonged period. Once I'm done with the cornrows, I spritz my hair with water and I go in with my Isoplus hair gel and then with the wax. This gel is the same as the yellow one that I usually use. It retails for 20 Rand and the wax is 50 rand. You can also get this um, wax for 30 rand. It depends on the size you purchase. The tying process is repetitive. You apply your gel, you comb through and then you brush through and then you tie your hair. After tying the hair, you apply your wax. This is to help get rid of the flyaways. And then after that, you brush it. After brushing it, you retie. And then after retying, you apply some more gel, minimally though, and then some wax, you brush through and then you tie for the last time. Just do this until you are happy with how the hair looks. But it takes a lot of brushing and combing to get a nice, flat, sleek bun. You don't want the hair to be poofy. Thank you. 
I use gel and wax for my edges. If the hair gets oily, use minimal water to counteract the oil. With regards to using the spritz, especially if you want your hair to last long, let's say for a good week, spritz the holding spray right before wearing your duk. And with the duk still on, use your hair dryer to dry it off. And then wear another duk on top of that. I usually sleep with like three duks on and in the morning you will get good results, trust me. This fiber was less than 30 Rand. I used both bundles because I wanted the braid to be thick. I laid my hair overnight and girl, when I woke up, it was laid. You don't need the rubber band. I ended up cutting it off. I was just trying to prevent the hair from slipping as I was tying it onto the knot. Just section out a small piece of your fiber. This will be used to conceal the base. I struggled a lot with braiding this because of the length and because of my sitting position. Nonetheless, it turned out just fine. I think I redid, I redid it. Ooh, I can't even speak. I think I redid it for about five times. I didn't show much of the part where I am concealing the knot simply because I ended up unraveling it off camera. It was just too bulky and it didn't look appealing. What I did was I unraveled it and then I braided it. That section that we took out, I braided it and then I wrapped it around again and it honestly looked way better as a braid. This is the final look. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe and share. Liking the video increases the chances of other ladies being made aware of the channel and us growing. So your likes are needed and appreciated. I'll see you on my next one. I love you. Bye.